Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Twist and we're back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys Dauntless. Uh, Dauntless recently came out on console yesterday, uh, which was the 21st of May. And I played this before on PC and it was it was badass. And now we're over on console because it's cross-platform. And allows me to play with my friends and everybody else on console, uh, which is a fantastic thing to do. Ooh, get that. Um, so we're going to show you guys, basically for everyone that's on console, the best way to start out and, you know, on how to do everything uh, to get yourself leveled up to be able to fight, you know, the higher behemoths and everything like that. So once you get leveled up, or once you, sorry, not once you get leveled up, but once you get into the game and you've completed your tutorial and everything, um, you're going to come to Moira. And once you've come to Moira, the first set you're going to want to get is the Ember Main. Um, now, if you have played Monster Hunter in the past, you will be familiar with the similarities to this game compared to Monster Hunter, and the same for the monsters in that game comparing to the behemoths in this game. Um, so with these, like the Fire Helm and the Ember Main set, um, Ember Main is basically what Odegaran looks like, or Odegaran looks like in Monster Hunter. Um, I'll put pictures side by side of what they look like so you guys can see. Um, and then it's the same with the staffs and everything like that. Um, there is no insect glaive in this, unfortunately. Um, but there is the pike pole, which is what I'm using now, um, because it has a crazy uh, combo and you can do a lot of damage with it if you have the right one. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys um, the type of weapons that you can start out with and the best thing to start out with, basically. So the first thing that I would suggest is always go for the chain blades, because chain blades not only do they have a crazy combo up close, but you also have a long range combo as well. Because they are on chains, you can launch them forward and uh, do damage at, at a distance and keep yourself safe. Um, so those are the Ember Main uh, chain blades right there, and we have those. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into fight Ember Main, because Ember Main is the easiest one to go after. This is him right here. Um, you can go after the lesser ones because they are a lot faster to kill and you'll get match make a lot easier because they are the best ones to farm right now because it doesn't take too long to beat them so you can go in and you can beat an ember main in like like two three minutes and then come out go back in again and keep doing it over and over again um, and it's the same way that you would do in monster hunter um, where you would uh, basically farm for parts to upgrade your gear um, because upgrading it is needed definitely um, to be able to progress further in the game so we're gonna go ahead and jump to some gameplay and show you guys exactly how to fight um, Ember Main using the the pike the war pike and then we'll go ahead and show you what it looks like using the the chain the chain stuff too okay so one we'll just jump into it right now Trying to make sense of it all 
coasting, I've been coasting Hear my name all around the world, my good explosion See, now that was using the war pike. That was the electric war pike. Um, and as you can see, the amount of stuff we got from completing it, from breaking him, we got 18 past progression rewards, four smoke death claws, one burning kill spike, savage hook tooth, and ember horn. Now, all this stuff is what we're going to need to use to level up our gear and level up our weapons. Um, and then you've got your other experience stuff over here on the right hand side, your Slayer progression. Now, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump to how using the chain blades uh, effectively in the combos and stuff like that. So, we'll jump straight into that now. Okay guys, that was using the chain blades um, that you get from being able to beat him. Um, so as you can see we got S plus and then we got S plus plus again. It was a little bit faster using the chain blades even though there was two of us because they are a faster weapon. Um, and as you can see, while you have the chain blades you're able to do that little backflip as well that is little... Uh, it's like a block evade move, but you still do damage, and you do that by pressing RB um, on Xbox and what is it, R1 on PlayStation. Um, and as you can see, we didn't get as many items in our loot section. Uh, this was because there was only two of us, and there wasn't that many things getting broken. Uh, but we did do a lot more damage uh, with our chains. Um, let's see. So we're getting closer and closer uh, to leveling those up as well. As you can see, there's like little things here. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll go back to, once we get back into the 
the gathering hub. Um, I'll show you guys the level up stuff that you can do and everything like that. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this because this game, it has it has a lot of potential um, on console. Like the servers are maxed out and I was literally sitting for 35 minutes trying to get in to get this video done uh, once I got home from work. So there is a few little bugs um, and there's some cool shit too that you can do like climb up onto the roofs of the hub and and get to all the little secret locations There's like little secret Easter eggs and there seems to be a lot of goats in the game for some reason um, I haven't quite figured that out yet. There's goats everywhere and these little um, the Kunai knives, I guess the little throwing knives if you gather those um, you get reputation and stuff like that um, So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head up back up to will um, Will is the blacksmith, or Wills, um, and I'm going to show you guys. So these are things you can craft. Each one often has an element. Um, then you have your normal weapons, which have um, damage towards all elements. Uh, so, for example, fire is weak against um, shock, and ice is weak against fire. Or sorry, fire is weak against ice, and ice is weak against fire, and everything like that. And then whenever you go on down, these are the weapons you just start out with. If you look in this sword, all you have to do is link your epic account to the Dauntless website. Um, and you'll get that cool skin for your weapon, uh, for your sword. And then you can go ahead and you can get, like these are the hammers. Um, hammers have a projectile in the main head of them that allow you to do this launch move and slam down on top of the, the behemoth uh, and I'm sure you've seen whenever I was using the spear or the pike pole whatever you want to call it um, I was using the drask the drask you get um, it has a shock uh, ability and it also you can shoot with it and you shoot with it by pressing RB and it locks in and it, it fires a, a concentrated bolt towards the enemy as well um, so kind of like a giant slug so these are all the different weapons um, if you're wondering how to get the pistols that you see right here um, where are they I'll just go ahead these pistols right here uh, the repeaters all you have to do is complete a few little challenges at the start of the game um, and then make your way over to this guy over here uh, where is he Oh, we lost him. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. He's around here somewhere. Uh, so I just want to find him here. Ah, oh, we're good. Right, so he's over here. <laughs> you want to go over to this guy here? This place is like a maze sometimes. And don't forget to pet the dog. Petting the dog is good. Because the dog is nice. So you're gonna go to this guy, Janik, and he'll he'll give you your pistols. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the messages in the description, um, or whatever you want to call it. And if you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. We've got a couple of crazy builds that I'm going to be working on. I might pump out the video tonight and have it ready for tomorrow. Um, it's going to be on the pike. It's going to be like a high damage pike pull. Um, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. This is your boy Twist, and as you know, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.